Hi, and welcome back to another video about Waveform. I'm demonstrating this with Waveform 11.5, though it probably applies to most of the versions of Waveform in the past. Now this technique using a vocoder applies to all the editions of Waveform, including free OEM and the Pro version. Now I'm doing the initial demonstration here using the TAL vocoder. This is a free plugin. You can go to the TAL website and you'll be able to find this. I believe there's also an upgradable version that has more features, but this is completely fine to demonstrate how this works. Now this technique and what a vocoder does, it applies a filter to audio, but you actually, in the original ones, you play a keyboard to kind of play that filter and give this sort of robotic sound. So to do that, I'm just gonna play back this example so you can just hear the sound of the vocoder. It's being triggered by chords, and I'll explain the setup in a few minutes here. <laughs> All right, so that's what the vocoder sounds like. Now, you might wonder, what is the source track? Well, I'm using this vocal that's from the, I believe it's from the singer-songwriter template project here in Waveform. So I'm gonna first turn off the vocoder and play this back. You can hear this vocal. Each year when the old year has ended. So that's nothing like what we got out of the vocoder. And the track is being played using this chord progression, which you can see right here on a separate MIDI track. So the way a vocoder works is it takes in audio, passes it through this kind of vocalizing filter, but the filter is being played and tuned using the MIDI notes that are coming in. So we have to send it both audio and MIDI. And in order to do that, we're gonna route the MIDI from this track up to this track. I will, in a later demo, show you how to do this live and actually sing into it and play it from a keyboard. But this is the static setup for this. And the whole trick to this, it's really deceptively easy to do this in waveform because of the way routing works. So we want the MIDI going through this track to come back into the input of the first track. So this is our MIDI track. And right here, at just below this, so if you open these tracks up, you'll see the output. And right here it says feeds into track one MIDI. If you click that, you could turn that off. Normally, a track will play into the default audio output. But if you click on this, you can reassign this to play back into another track. So we've got MIDI, so we're assigning this to track one MIDI. Now a little hint, if you're doing a lot of these kind of routing setups from one track to the other, you can show the track outputs over here at the end. Then you don't need to have the track open so much. So you can see that where it says MIDI here, we could click this and get that same menu. And you might not see that. I think that might not be visible by default. But if you go to settings, the appearance page, you'll see that right here in the tracks section on the appearance page, show track outputs. If you turn that off, then you could see it's gone over here. The only way to get to it would be to expand the track so you could find it like this. But with it turned on, if you're doing this kind of routing, it's kind of nice to have that. You'll see this little speaker here. Then you just click on that and then you can do that assignment. So we're going into this track and back up into here, and that's that's it. Drop the vocoder in, set up your MIDI track, and then route between the MIDI track and the audio track. This particular vocoder will not make any sound without that MIDI guide track to play along. So if I were to, for example, mute this MIDI track, you're going to get nothing out of it. So the MIDI routing is critical in this or you don't get any sound at all. I'm gonna just take it out or I'm gonna replace this plugin and we're going to do an example using the Waves OVOX. This is not a free plugin, but it's a relatively new plugin. So we'll do, actually I'll use the visual plugin selector so that I can search for it by name. So I'll go up here, right click and start typing OVOX. 
and here it is mono to stereo I'll just start dragging I'll stick that in there I'll remove the towel plug in and then we'll find a vocoder preset for this so we'll load this up there's a bunch of vocoding ones we'll just pick the first one uh, that's a monotonic so that won't work let's um just load the next preset Regardless of how this works and the sounds that we're getting out of it, you can see that the setup is the same. I can just drop in a different vocoder. Autotune will also work in a very similar way if you're using that MIDI key input in order to trigger and play harmonies and things using Autotune. So the basic setup works the same for any of these plugins that take a MIDI input to process audio. I'm gonna take this back out. We'll go back to the Tal plugin. So what if we wanna play the MIDI part live with a controller? Well, it's extremely simple. I'll just mute this MIDI clip and I just set up my input track here for my controller. So now when I play notes on my controller, I'll just play a C chord here. So the setup's the same. You just connect your controller input onto your MIDI track for the key. So if you want to sing into it live, first we need to set up so that your input here is set to take input from your microphone. And I have to enable live input monitoring. So to do that, I open the browser and I have live input monitoring enabled. Without that, I won't pass any sound through this. So then when I hit record arm, then I should be able to do live singing through this vocoder. Or I could also do the same thing and trigger that from this MIDI chord. So I'll unmute this MIDI Go back here. I'm just playing right now. Now this is just my voice talking, and I'm sort of singing because the chord's playing under it, and that's just the sound that I am singing. So what if you wanted to record from this setup? You're going to play your keyboard while you're singing and record the output of this. You would need to enable record for both of these tracks go into record mode. Now I'm playing the vocoder while singing and it sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yes. And from here, you can do all of your normal editing. You've got the MIDI that you play it in and you've got your audio track. That should be enough to get you started hooking up a vocoder, playing it back or using it live from within waveform i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching i'll see you in another video very soon